hi guys welcome back i hope you guys have installed atom and uh, git bash so let's start this course by creating a virtual environment for our project basically we create a virtual environment because we want to develop our application inside a dedicated space in our system right so it's like a special space for our application whatever we do in the project we will be doing inside this virtual environment so what happens if we don't create virtual environment that's the big question right if we don't create a virtual environment then the first thing we are going to mess up is that with the list of packages that are installed in our global scope of our computer so what i mean by global scope is that uh, we as a python developer we every day learn or uh, you know install many uh, python packages right so those packages will come into contact with what we are doing here in this application so it will be a mess right so we don't want to mess anything we want to keep our django application in a separate place that's the reason we create virtual environment don't worry if you did not understand this theory part i will show you exactly what it is in a minute okay so first of all we will create a folder for our uh, django application okay let's just uh, create a new folder here on the desktop uh, you can create anywhere you want but uh, i just want to go with the desktop here let me uh, rename it as a, a great cart okay so any name you can give but in this project i'm going to give it a, a great cart uh, what it is confirm folder replace okay wait uh, let me just uh, rename it as uh, wait uh, there should be something else here okay so this is actually the html uh, template i will give that to you in the next video but for now let's create a, a great cart folder all right so now in this folder we are going to create our application okay so in here what we will do is just right click and open this uh, git bash here okay so when you do this you will be so you will be inside this uh, desktop and great card folder all right so here we have to install virtual environment so it is uh, not too difficult but uh, let me show you let me take you to the browser here so here uh, just go to your google and say install virtual environment for python so you get this result installing packages using pip and virtual environment so just scroll down from here and here you can see installing virtual environment actually you don't have to install it separately because uh, python 3.5 and up uh, it already comes with the virtual environment so you just have to create a virtual environment and then activate it okay so here uh, so th uh, this one we can skip okay and the next thing is uh, this one uh, creating a virtual environment and for the mac os and linux this is how we create virtual environment and for the windows also uh, it is same but the activating virtual environment is a little bit uh, different okay so for now the git bash users just to go ahead to the git bash and say python minus m venv venv means virtual environment then this env okay this env is the name of your virtual environment so it can be any name you wish but uh, for me i think uh, env is uh, best suited all right so i i want to go with this env just hit enter all right so now the virtual environment is created so let me go to this a uh, great cart and here uh, you can see we have env folder here okay it has a include lib scripts and the activate and all the stuff just to go back to this uh, folder and uh, from here what we will do here is we need to activate it okay so what we just did is we created a virtual environment 
but we are still outside of virtual environment got it so what we need to do is we need to enter inside this virtual environment so this is how we do that you just have to type in source okay so this is uh, for the git bash users okay so uh, for the mac users i will show you uh, this in a minute so let's uh, first uh, say env slash scripts slash activate so by this command what we are doing here is we are first entering into this env folder here this one and then we are entering into this scripts scripts folder and so then we are activating it from here so just uh, hit enter all right so as you can see we are inside a virtual environment now okay so this means we are in inside the virtual environment and uh, if you want to uh, get out of the virtual environment just say deactivate okay so now you can see uh, there is no env uh, like this okay so this is just plain so that's that means we are not inside a virtual environment okay so to get back to the virtual environment just hit enter so when you run this command you are into the virtual environment all right so uh, let me show you one more thing here so what did i mean by this uh, global scope of the system okay uh, so first uh, let me deactivate i mean just uh, let me uh, get out of the virtual environment so here i'm not inside the virtual environment now right so i want to see the list of packages that are installed in our global system like uh, the uh, whole system got it so what i'll do is pip space freeze okay and uh, i can see all the list of packages that are installed in our application uh, you know the computer is here so it is obvious that uh, we don't need all these uh, you know all these uh, uh, packages uh, for our django application right so that's why we created a virtual environment so let's let's go to the virtual environment now source space env slash uh, scripts slash activate uh, make sure you are writing this s as capital okay and uh, hit enter all right now now uh, i am inside the virtual environment let me uh, pip freeze from here now now you can see there is no uh, you know packages installed in this virtual environment that means it is a fresh uh, environment right so in this uh, a fresh environment we are going to create a, a application right so that's why we create a virtual environment so this is the best way of creating any django application or i can say any uh, you know uh, python application so the next thing is i want to show you guys uh, how to activate it for the mac users right i don't have a mac but uh, i can just say uh, from here uh, you guys have to just say uh, source env bin and activate it will get activated okay so let me go back to the uh, git bash here i think uh, that's it for now so in the next lecture we will create a django project okay